good morning viewers this is gov tv the television ministry of the gospel faith mission international government we are here today to present the daily devotional of our sunday school if you want the manual where we take this devotional from you can get it from any of our assemblies are close to you or from any of the link that is shown on the screen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this great privilege to see today, the first day of June 2015. It's by your grace, O oh Lord God, that we are alive today. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our family members. Thank you, Father, for all our friends. Thank you, Father, for this nation where we are. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. As we go into your world this morning, Lord, I pray you will speak to us, you will reveal your mind to us. Things you want us to know today, Lord, reveal to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. We are starting a new quarter today, which is the last quarter in our Sunday school uh, for 2014 2015 a year the theme for the quarter is divine display of the world of knowledge divine display of the world of knowledge we have three units unit one the initiator of the message unit two i know thy works Time for critical self-examination. And Unit 3, the joy of endurance. This quarter, the next three months, we shall be examining the book of Revelation. The revelation that the Lord Jesus Christ showed to Joseph in the island of Patmos. I want to learn a lot of lessons from that particular book. And that is why we start today. Uh, today being Monday. We we'll start with the first lesson of the quarter. The general topic is Jesus, the author of the messages to the churches. The topic for adults, universal message. Topic for use, he who has ears, let him hear. Topic for intermediates, just obey. Today, Monday, the topic is God is omniscient. God is omniscient. We are taking a devotional reading from Psalm 139, verses 1 to 6, and verses 13 to 16. Psalm 139, verses 1 to 6, and verses 13 to 16. I read, O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou comparest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Verses 13 to 16. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee, when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thy eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book. All my members were written, which is continuous, were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Praise the Lord. Uh, from the passage we have read today, the psalmist was talking about the omniscience of God. Because our God is omniscient. When we say God is omniscient, just like is defined by the dictionary, is the quality of knowing all things at once. Universal knowledge. Knowledge unbounded or infinite. 
God knows everything about us. Even what we are thinking in our hearts, things we have not said out of our mouths, things that we are going to do tomorrow, things that will happen years to come, God knows everything because he's omniscient. He knows all things. Just like we'll be seeing in the next three months, our God, uh, Jesus Christ, was able to know those things that will be happening later in the seven churches in Asia because he knows all things. This should be a, a great challenge to us as believers. That even when we think we are doing something that is not known, that is secret, it is not secret to God. God knows all things. Wherever we are, just like the psalmist said, even if we run away from where people know us, even if we run away inside the pit, even, we, even if we are in the sea, wherever we are, God is there. And because he's there, he knows everything about us. He knows us. He's acquainted with us. He knows our thoughts. He knows our desires. He knows what is in our, our mind. Uh, that, that is why uh, we cannot hide anything from him. We do not hide. We cannot because he knows everything about us. Praise the Lord. There is no secret before the Almighty God. God does not need to consult any advisor to broaden his knowledge or understanding. No one taught him the secrets of the universe. He simply knows it all. God knows all secrets, including the secrets of our hearts. The point of emphasis is you cannot hide. He knows you and he will reward you. Prayer point. Lord, help me to be conscious daily of your knowledge about me. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord God, for your word today. Thank you, Lord God, for the reminder you have sent to us that you are omniscient. You know everything. You know all things. There is nothing we can hide from you. Father, I pray, give us that consciousness at all times, the way we live our life, to know that nothing can be hidden from you because you know all things, you understand all things. Thank you, Father. As we go out today, Lord, you will lead us. You will direct us. You will bless our days. You will bring us into favor and tender love of people today. It will be well with us. At the end of today, Lord, when we come back home, Father, we shall be able to praise your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm happy you, are be, you have been a part of the program today. Please join me tomorrow again, same time, same station, when we shall continue with our daily devotion on this uh, station. Uh, if you want any information, you can visit any of the links that are shown on the screen right now. God bless you.